Red Vodafone Chief Arun Sarin was in Delhi today. He had to meet the Commerce Minister and the Finance Minister. Some appointments, there was some problem with the deadlines and the meeting timing. Some got delayed, some he met later and earlier. But here's the wrap on what actually happened in those meetings in Delhi. 22 minutes post noon, Arun Sarin walked in to meet India's Finance Minister. The media chased him, flash bulbs lit once again for Vodafone's boss. But clearly, there was no one waiting for him, at least not inside this building. Because the chief of the world's largest mobile phone company was late for his appointment at noon. And by then the finance minister was already meeting C. Rangarajan, chairman of the prime minister's economic advisory council. So Sarin stepped out without meeting the minister, at least not then. But what about the taxation issue many believed had brought Arun Sarin to India in a matter of nearly 16 days? As you know, this is a matter that is in the courts today. It is not appropriate for me to be discussing something that a judge is going to be looking at in a few days. Uh, in some parts of the world, that would be considered interference, frankly. But other than the troubles, Arun Sarin is also looking at expanding his business here in India. And will that mean picking up a stake in Bharti Infratel, the tower subsidiary of Bharti? The notion of people coming together to build mass together for efficiency and effectiveness in the future is something that you will see more of. But it is completely unlikely that we would be buying into Infratel because we have our own towers. There's, there's no reason for us to be buying them. However, after a hectic day of lobbying, Sarin did manage to meet both the finance minister and the finance secretary in the evening. But what remains to be seen is that how soon can the tax riddle really be resolved, especially since the matter will be up for hearing on the 15th of this month in the Mumbai High Court. In New Delhi with Orijit Banerjee, Supriya Srinath, NDTV.